Anyways, let's start recording, shall we? I still need to find my controller. But I got some juice in my cup, just like some sugar-free fruit punch or something. A tropical punch, maybe? It is really sweet. I wish I would have grabbed some like of my lemon packets or something like that to mix in it. Just to like tart it up a bit. Cause this just is too sweet. I'm gonna drink it, but like damn dude. You're sugar free. Why are you that sweet? It's unnecessary. That's <laughs> definitely unnecessary. Also, there may have been a video or something whenever I first turned it on, but I don't care enough to Oh fuck. Okay. So, good to know, my light that I have, the new one that's over there, has a couple chargers built into the back of it, which is nice, because I can, like, charge stuff even when my computer's not on and whatnot. Uh, it's handy, but I had my controller plugged into it for a long time, and it seems to keep the controller charged, but it doesn't actually charge the controller, which is weird. I don't know why it does that like at all um but i guess it is what it is um so i just have to leave the controller plugged in while i'm using it <laughs> the outdoors terrible i like the outdoors i don't really care for these games that much but <laughs> just the outdoors in general is good open season fast way to jump right into a hunt adventure Enter an adventure. Let's create a profile and have an adventure, shall we? Name your hunter? Uh, player. <laughs> you can call me player. No, we are... Dream, please? Oh, god damn it. Alright, somebody needs to just, like, make a list of every game keyboard. And have it, like, based off of whether it's alphabetical or QWERTY or whatever. On Greenhorn level, hunters can benefit from animal tracking aids. The minimap shows the position of animals within your area, and its deer detection ring leads the way to where they are hiding. For shooting, lock-on secures your aim over a target, and the bullet cam follows your bullet to the target. The game is also more forgiving of your aim. Steady aim allows you to slow down and control your aim for a limited time. Animals are more responsive to calls and have less acute senses. They are more frequent, but trophy scores can be smaller. Sportsmen for more experienced hunters. Animal frequency on the map is decreased and learning in an animal is more difficult and requires more patience. Steady aim remains, but lock on is no longer available. Poor aim is more severely penalized and misses are more common. You may begin with less cash for your gear. You... Oh, I... <laughs> I thought it said you may begin. I was so confused. I'm like, so do we or not, game? Why won't you just tell me? You're the game. You're supposed to tell me these things. Why, why is that like, hmm, you might, but I'm not sure. I don't know, man. Bruh. No. Simulation. Some That's just the hardest mode. Uh, begin with the least amount of cash to buy gear. Expert hunters playing this difficulty. We're just going to do Greenhorn. We're new. We know nothing about the game. Why not? Type 1. Type 2. Type 3. What is? What are the types? Oh, are these just like preset characters or something? I don't know. What's type 10? Type 10's like basic bitch? What is details? Oh wait, does each type have like their own stats? Oh, they do. Who's the best? Oh. <laughs> type 10. Accuracy 90, strength 75, stealth 80, 75. Okay. Well then fuck, let's just go like true easy mode, man. Straight into type 10. Except... Oh. Wait. It doesn't tell us which ones are unlocked? Okay. The seven's unlocked. Whatever, sure. We'll take seven. What's seven look like? Fine by me. Accept. Accept. What's in stock and what you... Oh, this is like where we buy stuff. Outdoors are terrible. Then why are you going camping with me in like a month? Not even. It's like three weeks at this point. Jar across the world in search of record trophies. Beat the challenges. Quick way to make some extra cash. The target range. Sure. You actually have to... You must have clothes. We're not allowed to go in the nude? What the fuck, dude? 
If I want to go to the target practice or go to the shooting range nude, I should be allowed to go to the shooting range nude. Feel free to take a look. Um, so wait, do we have like any clothes or anything? No, we don't have anything. Okay, so let's uh um, uh, 243 is what I used to hunt with when I was a kid. Uh, so maybe a 243, just, uh, it's pretty cheap. It's a decent rifle. This one's pretty, but it's tough too. An ideal rifle for antelope and deer. The 243 is often used by those who are sensitive to recoil. Should not be overlooked by hunters who desire to carry a lightweight compact rifle for small, medium-sized game. Easy to handle and easy to carry. This 243 is ideal for beginners. That's Perfect. Fine. We'll buy that. Um, should we get like a shotgun or something? Well, we should probably get like a sidearm. Fixed power scope. Ah, oh, shit. Wrong button. But I'm assuming that's a scope, right? Yeah. So we should probably get a scope. Figured you knew your stuff. And then a sidearm sounds like a good deal. That's a fine selection. And we should get some some clothes at least. Do we get to like see what the clothes? Oh, I'll circle to try out. This is one of a kind. Holy shit! Okay, that's a lot. One of the finest of its kind. What is full camo orange? Interesting choice. <laughs> Uh, what's heavy orange? This is one of a kind. No, let's just go to light orange. This one? This I'm dating a mountain man. Hush you. Light orange. Why not? We'll buy light orange. That way we have some clothes on. And then accessories. A map would be nice. Interesting choice. A deer locator. Why not? Hydration bladder. Some dehydrated food. A med kit. Oh, they have like tents and shit too. Or a lightweight tent. A spinning combo. Oh, can we go fishing too? In this game? That's a thing, I guess. That's kind of neat. Holy shit, there's all kinds of accessories. Fuck, okay. I didn't expect all this. Well, I'm gonna grab a fishing pole because maybe we'll just spend all our time fishing instead. <laughs> uh, where's okay? Spinning combo. Binoculars are always handy. And then we'll just we'll just we'll just do that. That should be more than enough. Okay, my gear, gun, two forty three. Can we equip both? No. Okay, so we wasted our money. I'm buying both. That's fine. Light orange map. Don't know what that is, but we don't have any. And for accessories, um, I definitely want the spinning combo. Binoculars would be handy. Um. Hydration bladder, I guess, and the deer locator. I would have thought that, like, we could just attach the scope to the rifle, not take it as an extra thing. I mean, I guess if we have the scope, then we might not need the binoculars. There we go. Love the real footage in the background. I just wish it wasn't so fucking compressed. It is like super compressed, man. I missed the steal your noodle. <laughs> Bro, if you're hungry, I'll give you some noodles. Like, you don't got to steal them, you know? It's fine. I'll share. <laughs> noodles are for everybody. Noodles are good. Add some pasta sauce or some cheese. Uh, love me some cheese. This is like a Resident Evil walking animation. How do you aim down sights? Okay, R2. What is what is this thing? Okay, that's how we steady our aim. What's this like green and red thing that's on here? 
Okay, let me get like into a booth here. Oh, which which one is mine? Oh, there's different. Okay, I see. Oh, nope, not this one. Okay, is it this one down here in the end then? The scoped rifle. Okay. L2 plus... Oh. oh, we actually have to... Oh. Oh, God. Light our firearm. Holy shit. Okay. That's a thing. Let's just leave it on zero. So for 50 yards, roughly... How do we how do we fucking shoot the R1? Game didn't tell us that. Oh my god, dude. Stuck at holding. Come on. Chill. Bro, take a deep breath. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Okay, what if we, like, back out? And then... Go in. There we go. Nope. Okay, well, whatever. There we go. Okay, now... L2 plus... No? Oh, L2 plus that. There's new... Yeah, man! I'm not going to make Rue starve. If Rue's hungry, I'll give Rue some noodles. Be rude to make them starve. Okay, so at 50 yards, it looks like we need to raise our elevation. We'll go to 0.25 uh, and see what that does for us. Aiming for roughly 50 yards. Oh my god. Okay, that's close enough. Get me out with what noodles you have to share. Stop moving so much. Take a deep breath. Hold on. It is like right. Okay. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> We're just moving all over the fucking place. Still don't know what that thing up there is for. Okay. Shoot again. Aw, oh, damn it, dude. Whatever. Bring it up. I think we're more or less... Yeah, okay. That looks like it's more or less where we aimed it at, honestly. Are you ready to pawn me off on someone by now? I'm not trying to pawn you off, you weirdo. Stop moving, damn you. I just want to get, like, one decent shot so I can see how it is. What What do the other buttons do? Okay, that's squares reload. X, nothing. Circle, nothing. L1, nothing. Uh, option. Roll. Can we... Ready, firearm, bow. Steady aim. Oh! L1 is steady aim. I don't know what the fuck R3 was doing, but that's what I thought the steady aim button was. Oh, that's what that is. This is the steady aim? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> That's what the bar is. But the steady aim didn't feel all that steady. Damn, like 0.25 was perfect for 50 yards. Yeah, that's like perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, how far back does it go? 51.05 is as far back as it goes. All right, well, I feel like we've sighted our firearm now, so we're, we should be good to go. So how, do we, how do we leave? Do we just go to the door? Should be ready for some shooting. Can I buy, like, a drink while we're here? 
yes, I'm sure I want to quit. Thank you, game. It feels a little extra to have to, like, actually sight your scopes and shit. But it is kind of neat, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I guess hunt? Sure, hunt. Level 1 of 6. The rest are locked. Okay. Washington County. Advice. White tailed deer usually inhabit a small home range about 300 400 yards and have predictable feeding habits. Because of this, most mature bucks are shot from elevated stands. Many hunters also use a grunt or bleak call and lure attractants to bring in a buck so they can get a good shot from their stand. How long do we have to wait, though? Orange dots represent deer. Green dots are big game animals and violet dots are small game. Uh, if the ring is available, we'll tell you the position of each animal in the location. We're looking for orange. Check the rules? Okay. What? Uses only shotguns? Bro. What the fuck? That's dumb. Alright, well then give me... I mean, it looks like only a 12 gauge is available. I guess buy the shotgun scope and the shotgun then. And switch to the 12 gauge. And then switch the fixed power scope for... For the shotgun scope. And then I guess go back to the target range so we can sight our fucking shotgun in. I didn't know this was a thing. Wait, are we hunting small game then? I thought we would be hunting like deer. Hmm. The good thing we picked easy mode because otherwise we'd be completely out of money now. Also, it is dark. Uh, okay, so that's shotgun. Oh, wait. Where's our scope? We attached the scope. Or brought the 12 gauge not compatible with a scope? Eh, whatever. I guess we don't need to sight it then. Looks like it might shoot a tiny bit low. Oh, we can adjust. Okay, what's the, the range here? 21 yards? We'll go to like 12, 13. I'm going to shoot for the top of the, the thingy, top of the target. Bring it in. It's a little higher or a little lower. I'm going to do 20. Take it back. What was the range we were? 21. Oh, okay. It always goes back to the same amount. Dope. We're going to shoot for the white line on the left. That's pretty much spot on, I think. Okay. Cool. Although it's not going to matter once we get our scope in. That's what I don't... Like, we brought a shotgun scope. Why did we not sight... I'm very confused. I don't know. Oh, whatever. It'll be fine. Hunt. Here. Hunt. It costs 600 in cash to get... What would it do? Like... I guess we would have to do a competition or something. So, let's see what you can do. For your first trip, we'll start off smooth. I'm going to drop you into western Pennsylvania. They're known for their great whitetail hunting. While you're there, try a little fishing. And if you're lucky, you might even get the chance to take down an elk. We'll start you at a spot where I know for a fact there are some bucks. Get ready. Oh. Optijax here? Did he say hi? 
don't know if he said hi or not. I don't even know if he can hear, but hello, Optijack. I just see him in the moderator list over there. Watch the game crap out on us now after <laughs> after buying all of our gear, uh sighting our, our guns, all that shit. And like <laughs> got a buck in your sights. Get ready to take your shot. Oh wait, we already have a buck in our sights? Fire! Get him like I would have preferred to like go from the side, but Let's start searching. I, mean, I guess a trophy's a trophy though, whatever. Is there like a run button or something? Well, right now we're crouched. How do we like stand up? Okay. The left side must be like how visible we are of that little bar down there. Same trophy. 16 yards. Impact zone stomach. Well, it's rare. Do you, oh, is it really? Hellenistic, huh? Cool, I guess. Um, Get, like, money for something? This trophy can go back to deer country. Clean shot bonus of 200 in cash. Okay. What color were deer again? Was it yellow? Green? I don't remember what. Okay, the wind's blowing west-ish. We should be in the clear here. Also, I just realized our scope's not equipped. Oh, okay. Well, this shotgun's not compatible with scope. That'd be hey. why. Word is there's a nice elk room in the area. Want to go after him? Okay. What color was large? Hmm. Was that a bleed of a deer or was that an elk? Gotta admit, I don't really know what elk sound like. I've hunted for deer. I've never hunted for elk before. Ear loop. How do we use this? What? The what does this thing do? Oh, we can change camera mode. Nifty, I guess. Uh, but no. Right, the shotgun back up. As long as the wind stays blowing across us instead of like forge this. I want to figure out what the hell the purple is because I can't remember what color's what. Like other. Buzz. It's also green over there. Kind of wish we would have brought the binoculars. If I would have known this gun was just incompatible completely with a scope. Oh, what's going on? Did it get scared? Oh, it's like automatically locking on, bro. We do not have the range for that though, not with a shotgun. I don't even know what it is, is what's annoying. I just wanted to know like if we're chasing purple or if we're chasing green. I'm gonna go for maybe the green. Because there's like two purple, so if the elk is rare, then I think it'd be safe to assume that, you know, there would only be one of them and Maybe a couple deer. Oh, 
the wind's even more on our side here too. It's blowing directly in our face. Nice. I mean, we could like. Okay, so purple small game. Green has to be large game. Then. There's like a, a few yellow over there. So I can't see that being like the elusive elk or whatever. Although I guess it could be other like miscellaneous game. I don't know if you can... I don't know what all you can hunt in this game. If there's like turkey or whatever. Although turkey would probably be considered small. Bear, maybe. Although, and oh wait. Oh, there it is. Bro, this skin, <laughs> this auto lock on thing sucks ass. Go. He's on to the Underwood for real, though. I want to, like, get away a little bit. To get the wind as much in front of us as possible. Like, impossible. It didn't, like, run, did it? Oh, fuck. There it is. Fuck. Fine. Can't be spooked that bad, right? <laughs> it's fine. We need to lead our shot a little bit. He didn't like stick around, did he? He did. What a fucking dummy. Bro, this fucking oh my god. Why is it doing this shit? Every time I lock on, it's fucking... Oh my god, I just want to shoot straight ahead! Ah, oh, damn, dude. That should not have been that hard. I didn't even, I didn't even do the, like, steady myself button, man. Every time I tried to steady myself, it just went fucking crazy, so fuck that. normally. Now where the hell did it run to though? I see any more. Oh, is that it right there? And that's it right there. Okay. I was getting ready to track it, man. I was looking for blood on the ground and shit. Lee Lee, what's up? Hello. Lele attack oh, shit. just redeemed hydrate. I didn't expect there to be deer over here. I guess I could have got like an extra whatever. In the stomach again, though? Gross. I was trying to get for, you know, the heart. Like, oh, you can't see my mouse. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways. But uh, without being able to steady my aim, like, that kind of sucked. Anyways, drink. Just juice tonight. Nothing fancy. But we got the elk, so we should get, like, some sort of bonus for that, right? Congratulations, the trophy is yours. Fuck yeah, it is. Now, how much, like, actual ammo do we have? I wonder. Uh, well, we brought... Brought the fishing pole. Uh, where's the fishing areas? Do I need to just get, like, closer to the water? The fuck? Okay, hold on. Map. Oh, okay. So there are like designated fishing zones. So that was at the north end of this pond, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess we can see if we can get another deer on the way. Did we bring more ammo? We did. I mean, we can analyze tracks, but we saw the d deer. Yeah. <laughs> running away from here so like we know it's over this way somewhere
Do, 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 do. I didn't read like what the rules were for hunting season and stuff though. Are we gonna get a penalty for like overkilling things or is the game more forgiving about that sort of thing? Cause obviously in real life, like you have limits on how much you can, you can kill in a year for good reason. I have no idea how they're they're handling that here in game. I hear a boy around here somewhere. More tracks. Northwest. This way. I'm gonna go across the bridge though. Am I loud? Yeah. So if you wanted to, you could just like put down a fucking blind, dude. I, I mean, I feel like it'd be a lot better with rifle hunting instead of shotgun. But you could just put down a blind or or put up a uh, a tree stand. Put out some sort of some trap or some sprays and just fucking wait for some deer to show up. It's just like... <laughs> I guess that's... For somebody? That's something over there. Really wish I would have brought binoculars. I feel like that's some sort of animal over there. But one, I'm definitely not sighted for that range. And two, I can't tell for sure if it is or not. Visibility's kind of poor. Over there. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't think so. Okay. Oh shit. Get up the get up the little hill. I'm not trying to go for a swim game. I'm just trying to, you know, get over to this fishing zone. Okay. The fishing area. Extend or fishing mode. On the top right corner of the screen, you can see two meters. The fishing meter and the casting meter. The casting meter is visible only if the cast button is pressed. The icon below these meters shows your hook status. It can be empty, hooked fish, or fighting fish. Okay. R1 to cast. Cast it way out there, I guess. Somewhere in there. Okay, so it's empty. We just wait. Can we get like bait or something to make this go quicker? I didn't see anything in the shop. Wiggle it around a little bit. Maybe entice some fish. No. Okay, hold on. I mean, look, we really didn't leave it in there long enough to give anything a chance, but I feel like we should cast out a little bit farther. Can we aim at all? Only side to side, really. A, the tiniest bit up and down. Okay. Let's just go, like, all the way out. That's all the farther would let me go. I guess we just wait? No bait? We just kind of pray? See what happens? I, I don't know. Honestly, I mean, I didn't expect fishing to be in the game in general, but... I guess it's outdoor adventures, so a variety of things to do. Why not? I'm sure, this game also came out pretty late in the uh, like PS2 life cycle. Like it was probably a PS3 game that was backport kind of thing. It's kind of excited for the fishing, but I'm already kind of bored of it. I like fishing in real life, but in a video game, I don't want it to take 20 minutes to catch one fish, man. Like, <laughs> I mean, We're probably just in a bad spot or something. Bro, I literally just took a drink. What are you doing? Jack, also, hello. About time you say hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, yeah, now I'm done with this. I'm not, I'm not spending all day dealing with that 
Where did the the purple one go? That was over here. Is that it? Oh well, that's like that one direction's directly in it. Uh, okay, we've shot two things. I don't know how many tags we have, if that's even a thing. If we go directly west, we should get to the cabin or home or whatever. I'm assuming that's how we leave the hunt. It's been on stream, but it's been on the computer. And you've been cleaning your room and getting prepped for your work week. Gross. The work week part. I mean, <laughs> gross. We like hop the fence or the fence like no man's land. No, it doesn't seem like we're allowed to hop the fence. Some sort of boundary. There's the cabin. Oh. So we know now, though, when we take the 12 gauge out, we definitely want the binoculars. Drive truck. Oh, shit. We can actually just, like, drive around? <laughs> Yeah, they tried to make me come into work super early on Sunday. I uh, said, fuck that. <laughs> no, I just told him, like, hey, that's outside my, my available times. If I did that, I would only get, like, three hours of sleep. Can we get that fixed? They're like, yeah, we'll take a look at it. And then fucking scheduled me for 11 instead. <laughs> like, <laughs> So, I mean, that's better, but not by much. I might go to work on, like, time. I might just take a half day. I don't know. How do we, how do we fucking leave? Bag limit two bucks. Okay, so we're, we're allowed to hunt another buck. So I guess like, I guess maybe we just go for another one. Well, we don't want to go for those one because of the wind. And maybe go for this one, depending on like if the wind shifts or anything. I also closed the night before and I have game night with the guys the night before, but that one might just get canceled or something. I don't know. To be determined, that one. Yeah, it's a double point. Well, no, like, I'm going to go to work. I just might take a half day. That's all I was saying. You don't get double points for taking half days, so. You only get double pointed if you skip entirely. Uh, yeah, ish, but noodle works until 11, so I don't actually get home until like 1130. Aren't you also only scheduled till 11, sir? Like, it's not my fault you decide to stay six hours over every night. Make sure you leave on time the night before. I don't know how... Oh, shit. It's right fucking there. Uh, Switch to shotgun, please. Did it... Did it smell us? Is it running? Can't tell if it's running or... If it was just moving like normal. And it's going like right in the direction of the fucking... Wind though, don't go that way. You're gonna smell me. Hopefully on easy mode, the game doesn't care much about smells. They haven't been getting overtime because they stopped lying. Yeah, our store's been super uppity about that shit too. Not that I ever have a problem with that, like. It's a hard no on the OT. It also doesn't help that you had four fucking people, like. The job you do is a hard one to do with that few people. Oh. Something started running straight for us, man. But then it just noped the fuck out. I didn't even see it. I don't know how it saw us. Also not sure how we're not seeing any tracks on the ground, but whatever is what it is.
trying to get more like west of this thing whatever it is i don't even care like the size in particular or anything i just want to get my two bucks to see if it'll let me leave hopefully it won't be like that too much longer i i'll pray for you my guy <laughs> <I don't... laughs> you got this no problem okay we got to be close I'd be like just right on the other side of this. Or, oh, wait, no, it's moving. So it must be like right on the other side of this ridge. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. It's moving in a favor va favorable direction, though. Hydrate, goddammit. Up to Jack just redeemed hydrate. I think time pauses whenever I go to this menu. It'd be a great time to like just sit in a blind and bleat a couple of times, but I didn't bring any of that shit. Uh, where are you at, boy? Can I like stand up. How visible am I if I just stand up? I don't move, not much actually. I don't see it. So it told us we have a limit of two bucks. Do we have a limit on the number of elk that we can that we can get? I'm assuming there would be. Wouldn't make much sense if there wasn't, but I cannot see this thing. This foliage is dense and it's big. We're like on the water line though, so I don't feel like it can be too much farther away. It could be like right here. Uh Sec. Filters. Noise gate. There. Okay. Resume. It's bugging me that it seemed to like be cutting me off every once in a while. I talk a little more quietly or I don't know, whatever. But I've already forgotten like what colors are Oh, is that a is that like a built in tree stand? Or not tree stand, but like little little hunting spot. Maybe we can get up there and just wait. I didn't know there would be like built in things like that. Assuming that's what it is. Yeah, bro, it's got to let us use it, right? I mean, I don't have any way to attract anything, though, so. Wait, I can't stand up? Oh, there we go. You can't stand up once you're in it. Oh, there he is. I don't know the range on this, but you don't have Let's... permission to shoot that animal. I'm warning you. Don't do that again. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> All right. Well, now we know. We are only allowed to kill one, uh, one elk per trip. Get some Fs in chat. Can we oh get my some god. Fs in my chat? bad. 
I didn't know. Am I still allowed to collect it? I mean, it fell instantly, so... No, I guess not, because it would be, like, right here. I just want to get another buck so we can maybe leave. That, uh, that was a bunny, right? Yeah. What's the purple guy? Cause it was just it was just a green guy that we just shot, right? So then, what hunter hunter survive the wild or whatever it's called? <laughs> I feel like they normally don't care in the Cabela's games either, but Call of the Wild, that's what it was. But this one seems to be like a little more sim-esque. Like, I don't know if you were paying any attention when you were cleaning your room, but you actually like go into a shooting range and sight your rifles and shit before you go. So like right now my shotgun here is sighted for like 20 yards, 25, something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. It's shit like that. Sims! Uh, we'll play eventually. One of these days, Lily. One of these days. We'll play Sims again. Also, I put your last one on Sims uh, 2 Castaway because you didn't specify which one. So so hopefully that's okay. Is that another cornfield? What are the chances there's another um, permanent stand around here somewhere? Because I'm guessing this purple boy is like maybe on the outside edge of this cornfield. You have hunting tags in the cabal. Do you and all of them? <laughs> I mean, I've only played like five of them. You can't expect me to know these things. Oh, it's that one. Good to know. I'll forget, but good to know. Is that it? Uh, maybe not. Is that not a deer right there? Or I really wish I would have brought binoculars. I can't even tell. What is it making me aim at? Is that a deer? No, that's the fucking deer that's running to the right. So what the fuck was it that it kept making me aim at, man? I hate this auto-aim shit that it has the lock-on shit. It is terrible. Yeah, I don't remember which ones we had when we were younger either, man. The problem is, like, the lock-on button and the fucking button to calm yourself so you can aim straight are the same damn button. So you just get kind of fucked, like. Or maybe that's an elk. Was yellow elk, maybe? Uh, hold on. Are you a deer? Can I just outrun you? What are you? You're too far away. I can't see what you are. Are you running toward me? No, that's... What is that? Is that a... That's small game. Yeah, so purple small game. We already figured this out once. I just don't remember. <laughs> Okay, that's heading straight into the wind. Let's not do that. I think we had 2004 as well. Big Game Hunter, 2001, Dangerous Hunts. Yeah, I don't know. I've played a couple of them here as well. I just don't remember what's what. Driving. Da, 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 fishing. Oh, wait. Hmm. That's good. Da, 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 reeling out. What's the fucking colors mean? Indicator. Green dots are big game animals. Orange dots. Okay, orange are deer. So orange is what we want to hunt down. Orange is what we're looking for. What's your gun? A 12 gauge. Sadly. I tried to bring a 243 because that's what I used when I was younger for hunting. And uh, apparently the rules of these game lands or wherever the fuck we're hunting at forbid it. Shotguns only. So... 
So we're hunting with a fucking 12 gauge. No scope. It's trash. I, I wanted the 243. I bought a scope for it and everything. I sighted it in first and then came into the game or came to the hunt and it was just like, nope, you gotta use a fucking shotgun. So. He seems to be pretty close. Yep, there he is. I mean, I can't fucking... I'm glad that worked, because I just trusted the auto-aim and hoped for the best, because... I... There's nothing I can do. Like... <laughs> I can probably turn the auto-aim off. I might want to look into that, honestly. Because it's kind of trash. But there we go. We got our two bucks. Wait, where's... Where's the body? There it is. Okay. Uh, reputation 23. 57 yards. Score 145. This I don't remember what our score was country. on the other Isn't one, over. but... Good work. Hey! Okay. Accuracy 71. Strength 57. Tracking 50. Blah, 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 blah. 300 plus 3 times. So we got 900 bucks for that hunt. I guess that's good. I don't know. That that paid for the shotgun that I didn't want to buy, at least. And maybe the scope that I bought, not realizing you couldn't attach it to this 12-gauge. Okay. So, can I go... Here? I can. Winter. What are the rules? 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., you have tags. May not shoot any of the non-game animals. Spotted fawns cannot be killed or harmed. Uh, you cannot use a firearm bone within 50 yards of any inhabited buildings. You can't run shit over. Use only shotguns, rifles, or handguns. Okay, we can use rifles in this, this hunt. So swap this out for the 243. And then... Change the shotgun for the fixed power scope. Which I don't know if I'm sighted on the fixed power scope or just my regular scope. I don't fucking know, but whatever. Chocobo, what's up? And then honestly, the hydration bladder seems kind of useless. So... Maybe... No, we're, no, we're going to be in the cold. Uh, we'll take the binoculars. I don't understand how the, how the locator works. But fishing fucking sucked, so... Let's take, um... I don't know, I guess just take the hydration bladder again. I don't even know if it's, like, required to drink or anything in this, this difficulty, but... Oh, cool. We can choose where to spawn. I mean, I'm, I don't really care where we spawn. Uh, 500 bucks to enter the hunt? Jesus Christ, man. I forgot about the cost to enter the hunt. Yeah, I think it costs us... What was it? Was it 600 to go into the last one? I don't remember, but that's that's the majority of the money that we got from the actual hunt. We We spent just going to these places. Might even be all of it. Honestly. I guess the main way to make money is probably, honestly, the uh, the competitions. Okay, so, how did I see before, like, what our limits were and whatnot? Um, must ready your firearm. Okay. Firearm ready. Fixed power scope. Oh. oh. Okay, so the scope was automatically applied. Awesome. Otherwise, it's just iron sights. Good to know. So that means this scope should currently be sighted for 50 yards. And what color was it? Was it orange? A great day for hunting. A 
I'm hoping it's orange. What? It, oh, wait, are you right here? Bro, okay, well, that's way more than 50 yards, though. Is bullet drop, like, properly represented? I mean, it's gotta be if we can, like, sight in our shit. Oh, God, they're right within the, the window. So, assuming they can smell us, they're gonna be out of here in no time. That's shitty, though, because they're, like, right there. Feels like a game that should have cheats, but doesn't, sadly. Man, oh. Oh, shit. Get fucked. <laughs> yeah, cheats would be cool, honestly. You could have, like, uh, I don't know, like, no scent or infinite stealth or just unlock levels and shit like that quicker. Infinite money. Um, I don't really know what else you would have other than that. Spawn bears. <laughs> just whatever the biggest fucking animal you could have. Speaking of cheat codes, man, I don't know if anybody heard what I was talking about the other day. But the coolest cheat code in the world was uh, Disclosed the other day in AK-47. Fuck yeah. Um, so... Uh, alien something on the PlayStation 1 has a fair few cheat codes in it. But one specifically that was really fucking cool. It's just a bootloader for, for like, homebrew games, uh, backups of games, um, or... Yo, hi. Am I allowed to shoot you? You're an elk, aren't you? Were you an elk? You haven't been given a tag for that animal. This is your first warning. <laughs> oh, Okay, well, I guess we were only allowed to shoot elk one time. Anyways, um, well, backup games, imported games, whatever. You would just, you would put the game in, you'd put the cheat code in, and the game would, like, make a dinging sound or whatever. And then you would hold a couple buttons down, and that would stop the disc from spinning. And then you could put in whatever disc you wanted to, let go of the buttons, and then it would just boot whatever that game was. Obviously, they never told Sony about it because Sony would not allow that to be a thing. <laughs> like, Sony would have just been like, no, that has to fucking go instantly. Because you could literally, it's a PS1 game. Alien Resurrection? I feel like that's too new. It's one of, like, the aliens, like, the movie aliens. It's one of, like, them games. Um, But anyways, yeah, it was never discovered. A uh, guy was watching somebody on YouTube that had worked on that game. Um, and the, the video the guy had made, I forget who it was, if it was modern vintage gamer or someone else. Anyways, point is he was talking about like different ways to boot, um, backups on PlayStation one or homebrew or whatever, uh, specifically talking about what was it? Tony hacks. That was uh relatively recently, like within the past couple of years put out there. And he was like, oh, that's really cool. We actually have a feature like that in our game. Um, you just got to put in this cheat code, do these things, put a game in, and then uh, and then it'll play whatever game you put in. And so he tried it, and sure enough, it's there. And the thing is, like, the fact that the cheat code exists was actually documented on different sites. I'm guessing from, like, it's a shame you can bootload with a straw, and some very particular swapping of the discs. But with this, you don't have to do the, like, uh... The fancy disc swapping or anything like that. So you don't like risk damaging your discs or the motor or anything. Um, But anyways, yeah, no. He was just like, yeah. And, oh, no, that's what I was saying. The fucking, so the cheat code was documented, but nobody knew what it did. So, like, people knew that there was a cheat code out there that, like, you had put in this sequence of buttons and it did a thing. But nobody knew knew why or whatever. And then after you put the cheat code in, nobody knew about holding like the like L1 and square or whatever down to stop the disk drive from spinning. Um, so that you could put another game in and all that shit. So there were a couple small details missing, but people were so close to figuring out how to uh boot their their backups and imports way back in the day without any any hacks or anything like that. It's crazy. 
Have you ever actually, has anybody actually done the swap method before? On the PlayStation 1 to boot a game? It's actually not that hard to do. You do risk damaging the motor or your disc or whatever, like I said. It does take some reasonably precise timing, but outside of that, it's really easy to do. It's actually even easier to do on the PS2 with PlayStation 1 games specifically. If you're trying to if you're trying to do the swap method on PS2 or PS2 games, good luck. It should technically be possible. But, like, it would be really fucking hard. You've only done it with PS2 Slim. Yeah, see, the thing is, on the regular PS1, you didn't have the easy method. So, on the regular, or on PS2 Slim, you just go into, like, the, the disk drive menu. You put in a, PS, a real PS2 game. Uh, you also, you have to have something blocking the sensor so the, the console doesn't know when the lid is open. You just put in a real PS1 game, you wait for that PS1 game to pop up on PS2, and then you take out the real game, you put in the fake game, and then you click X on the, the icon that shows that a PS1 game's loaded, and it just works. Because the way the PS2 and the PS3, interestingly, you can do the same exact thing with PS3, the way it detects what kind of disc is in is by checking to see if it's a valid game or not. Um, that's how it knows if a PS2 game is inserted or a PS1 game. It just checks to see, does it meet the security check? Um, so by the time that little icon pops up, it's already done its security check. On PS1, that's the only security check. On PS2, there's a second security check, and that's why you can't easily do the disk swap. Um, but with actual PS1s, because there's only the one security check and the timing is very well known and pretty easy to see uh, when it's when it's doing the security check and then when it finishes it you can with just a real ps1 block that little disc open sensor uh, put a real ps1 game in wait for it to do like a certain spinning pattern and then while it's still spinning quickly take it out put in a fake game um and then yeah <laughs> and it'll boot i've done it before <laughs> It's, uh, you can find a lot of videos of it being done too. It's actually not that bad. I did it to, uh, what's it called? There's, there's like a custom OS thing that you can get for PS1. I did it to, to launch that at one point. It's really fun. But yeah, uh, like I was saying though, PS3 actually does the same exact thing. So if you have a, uh, like a slim PS3 with like the dish tray or something like that, you can... Put in like the real PS1 game, wait for it to pop up, and then swap in a uh, like an imported game or whatever on PS3 as well for PS1 stuff. Again, to be clear, <laughs> just PS1 stuff. The PS2 though is even more broken now because there's like it's been so broken open. I've heard they're trying to do the same thing with PS1, but it hasn't been done yet. But you can actually just patch discs that, depending on the model of PS2 you have, you can just pop your backed up game in and it'll just run. Like, you don't have to do any disc swap or have any modifications done to your console or anything like that. You just put the game in and it just fucking boots. Like, it's wild. Friend and I did it for custom Guitar Hero songs and abstraction components, so it had to <laughs> have a shoe on top that just tried to work. God damn it, dude. That's great. That's great. My cousin and I, we actually had a uh, soft modded PS2. That's how we did the custom Guitar Hero and Rock Band songs. He found the information on how to do it, and I just happened to own everything you needed to do it. So me and him worked together to, uh, to soft mod it. Nowadays, you just hop on Amazon and buy a fucking memory card, and you can soft mod a PS2. But back then, you had to, like, actually do everything yourself. Plus, we were poor. You know, I was 15 at maybe 16. He's a few years older than me, but still. Like, 18, 19 at most, you know, sort of thing. So, it was like, yeah. What are you? 
I cannot see that far. I wish we had a way to zoom in. That looks like a doe. It's not a spotted doe, though. Or a spotted doe. It's not a fawn. Or at least not a spotted fawn. That is not legal game. It's not? Do not do that again. This is your second warning. Wait, do we only have tags for... For a buck? Where do we see? One buck, one doe. Was that not a doe? <laughs> Did it have spots? Am I fucking crazy? Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I had a lot of fun with doing that shit back in the day. Ex the custom songs in Rock Band, I mean, in Guitar Hero. We even did a- we made a couple of our own custom songs, too. He, uh... Again, my cousin found the software, if I remember correctly, but then we both fucked around with it. Where you would just load up a song and time it out yourself and make your own tracks. We never made anything good, <laughs> to be honest with you. But we did make a, cu a couple custom tracks ourselves. But mostly it was just downloading other people's custom tracks for songs that we were into and loading them up. Nowadays, of course, you just have like clone heroes, so you don't even need to do that shit anymore, but still. Where are you? There's something all the way over there. Uh, you're like out of view. Everybody's like going right where my fucking wind is blowing, which is irritating as shit. Or when I was at the game store today, I saw they had a white PS2. It was uh, really cool. I don't think I've ever actually seen the white PS2 Slim before. I've owned silver and black ones, a couple different silver and black ones. And then, of course, the, the original fat black PS2. But I don't think I'd ever seen a white one before. I looked it up. It's a little more expensive than the other ones, but not crazy. Um, but the owner wasn't there today, so the guy that was working wasn't sure if it was for sale. And to be honest, I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend that much money on anything. Because if you were here earlier, I've said it before, I'm a poor boy at the moment. So. Shit, are you a doe? Oh no, you look like a spotted fawn. No, you you don't have any spots. Don't fucking tell me I'm not allowed to shoot. I just die. Where are you going? Okay, there it goes. I wonder if we'll get penalties from, like, fucking up the two. Like, shooting the... I don't even know what the one was. I thought it was a doe. Maybe it was just a very small horned buck. <laughs> um, And then I think the other one might have been an elk. But I, I don't know. I wasn't paying that much attention. White-tailed deer doe. <sighs> Or 145. Nice Time to move on from this location. In menu. You need to make a Camp Town races disc for stream. What the fuck? <laughs> I do legitimately, though, need to make some custom um, versions of the Guitar Hero games and shit I have. I mean, we could play it and just have it muted. Like, that's always an option, but I feel like that's just a very terrible option. So, like, I don't know, man. Hunt down one bobcat with a bow. Oh, that was a mission, not the hunts. Level two of six. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Are we just here to fish? Oh, only bows. What's this one? Only bows. Muzzle loaders. Fuck me, dude. I don't think I have money to buy a bow or muzzle loader or any of that shit. Come on in. I guess I do have enough. Muzzle loader you want for accuracy out to 100 plus yards. 
Very slow time to reload a muzzleloader challenges the hunter to one shot only encounters with the game animals. I mean, how often are you making more than one shot at an animal anyways? Like... A good one in tight situation. Recurve bow adds a unique challenge to the hunt not found with more modern compounds. Since there are no sight pins, the archer must practice extensively to become proficient. Uh, I don't know. What, uh... What other modes do we have? I think I'm more or less done with Cabela's outdoor adventures, to be honest with you. I was very let down by the, uh, fucking fishing. When I saw there was fishing, I got excited, and then it just kind of ended up being trash. Rocky Mountain Elk, let's go. Where's the, the trophy here? Is the trophy... I guess the trophy just is Washington County. That's weird. White-tailed deer, elk. Another white-tailed deer. And then our doe. Well, aren't we fancy? Gender, buck, typical. We did have a fancy buck. Yeah, melanistic. <laughs> Excuse me. gender doe it's not typical hmm weird i don't know why i wouldn't have the the details for the doe there is like the uh quick mode i want to see what the quick mode is oh wait there is the uh there's one other thing there's contest trap shooting oh definitely not going to go trap shooting uh i Never mind. Indoor contest for firearms. Go to your designated shooting lane and try to shoot the paper target. Get as many points as you can. Take the first place and you win. The x-ray option is prohibited. Oh, so x-ray is a thing then. I don't know how the fuck you unlock it, Optijack, but... Uh, 50 in cash to enter? Sure. Question of the day. What's the one thing you think everyone should experience in their lifetime? Oh, bro, that's easy. Cabela's Outdoor Adventures 2016 or whatever the fuck this game is. No, definitely not. Um, true love. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta. Oh, do you really gotta beat the game for X-ray? I mean, I guess that makes sense, but um, something everybody should experience at least once in their lifetime. That's a great question. I don't fucking know. A perfectly cooked steak, man. Or just like whatever your favorite meal is. You know what I mean? Like just a meal that you'll never forget because it's just that fucking good. That was a little high. You got nothing? I know. Like that one's hard, man. Wait, am I just shooting the same target 10 times, or? Okay, this is not studying very much. Good thing I already have this gun sighted for this exact spot, I guess. Bro, that's like... <laughs> Can we crouch in here? No. Nice if we could like steady ourselves a little bit more. Right on target. Goal oriented serotonin. There you go, man. <laughs> uh. The best night's sleep you can possibly imagine, you know? Like, when you're just absolutely tuckered out, and then you get that sleep that just fixes fucking everything. That's what you need. Ah, oh, fuck, we missed, man. 
Well, we missed the center ring. We still hit the target, but we only got 250 for that one. Why are we moving so much now? Are we like worn out or something? And that was only worth 252. What the fuck? Do we need to like take a rest? Here you go. Relax for a second. Reload your gun. Take a couple deep breaths. There we go. Your shot is really improved. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's gonna, what do you mean my shot's really improved? Wait. We paid $50 to enter. And we got a cash reward of 90 So we only got 40 bucks. I thought this was supposed to be a great fucking way to, <laughs> to earn some extra cash. That's what the game told us. We got 40 bucks for that. You can't buy shit for that, dude. <laughs> like... I mean, we could maybe buy some, like, I don't know, some fucking deer piss to spread around or something, like, break Jimmy's record. How do we unlock these other ones? Reward 90. So wait, is that the reward for, like, all of these? Okay, 1,000, 900, 800, 700, 6, 90. 90 so all of these first ones are only worth 90 each and then it suddenly just jumps up to what 600 yeah what the fuck i feel like they fucked up like one two how much is this last one worth yeah i feel like it should be worth like i don't know 50 or something then 100 200 300 400 500 6 7 8 9 10 100 you know 10 100 <laughs> It's just, it's a weird scale. Oh no, god forbid we lose all of our progress. Here, we'll save real quick. Oh, you know what? Can we take a bow to the shooting range? I'm just curious what shooting a bow is like. I don't actually want to go hunting with it. Bella's shopping. Uh, recurve bow. How much does the muzzle loader cost? There we go, we'll buy both. Why not? Interesting choice. Oh shit, no, I wasn't trying to grab that. Uh, my gear. Give me the recurve bow. Target range. Okay, so we're not allowed to. That fucking sucks. Give me the muzzle loader then. What's it like shooting the muzzle loader? Is there even a spot in here to shoot a muzzle loader? I'm pretty sure that far farthest target only goes down to 50. I was saying this is ideal for 100 plus. I'm guessing that's just gonna be on the end down here, right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's still capped at 100 yards, too. Okay, so it's shooting a little low. I mean, I'm assuming it's just going to be the same as the other gun, honestly. We just need to put it to plus, what was it, was it 25? I think it was 25 we had it on before. And then we wait. I mean, if you're, like, super into hunting or whatever. Because, like, this game works well, right? That's the one thing I can say about this game. Is that it, it definitely works well. But it's not... I don't think it's my cup of tea. Are they going to get mad if we shoot it, like, point-blank range here? <laughs> there you go. I win. 
All right, let's fucking quit. Yeah, I'm sure I want to quit. Is there any other mode that's worth anything? I'm pretty sure the one mode just drops you into like a hunt with pre-selected gear and shit. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with losing my progress or whatever. Yeah, adventure is what we were just playing. So there's open seasons. Greenhorn. Yes, enter the hunt. Washington County winner. Interesting. So it's the same one we were just in. I wonder if it's like random or or if it's just based off of how far you've made it in the, the main mode. What kind of weapon did you give us? Okay, so at least it's a new gun. And we got some rattling in. Oh, we got a tree. Tri or no, it's a tripod stand. I thought it was a tree stand. Hmm. All iron sights. How does the tripod stand work? Unable to place item. Okay. What if I want to place it? Do we still have rules we have to follow? Bag limit two bucks. Yeah. Ah, man. Just give me like a free mode. You just drop me somewhere and let me fucking go at it. I'm guessing we just need a flat spot to put this thing on. This looks pretty flat. Can I set it up here? Unable to place item. Do we need a tree to like tie it to? But it's a tripod, so you would think it would have like everything you need. Nope. That's a no-go. Maybe it's not flat enough? Where's the opening to this fucking fence, man? And seriously, why can't we hop the fence or climb under it or anything? Yeah, well that looks like the edge of the map, so that's... <laughs> I guess that's why we can't hop that fence. I think the game should let us just run over shit with the truck. I don't see why that's a problem, man. That seems like a legitimate way to hunt. Well, it probably doesn't get much flatter than it does on the fucking trail here. There we go. Okay, so it's just a random stand. Is this really any better? I mean, I guess it lifts us up a little bit. So we get a better view, but is it really any better than just standing or walking around? I mean, we have like very high stealth or whatever. So we're just sitting here. And we're a little bit up out of view. That seems a bit unnecessary. You lock me onto anything? No? Well, guys, <laughs> gotta admit, I think I'm done with this game. I think it's uh, I think it's time to call it. It's a little bit early. We're about 20 minutes early tonight, but I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> and I don't, I don't care much to do more of just this. So that's uh, that's Cabela's. <laughs> You want? Wow! Wow to you, my guy. Encore? What do you? <laughs> Encore of what? What do you wanna? What do you wanna see? Give me like a fucking bear or something. <laughs> no, pets is only happening whenever it rolls into it. Plus, legitimately, like it's behind me, buried in one of my three totes of PS2 games. So, that wouldn't happen anyways, because like, it'd probably take me 20 minutes to dig it out and fucking find it, like, <laughs> seconded, not happening. <laughs>
<laughs> Not tonight. Keep voting on the game. Maybe we'll play it after God of War. Get it up to a thousand votes, man. You guys probably have enough points. Well, Chocobo actually votes on things. Optijack, you've been coming to streams lately. You might have enough points to, <laughs> to put a couple on it. <laughs> Hydrate. Oh. Dr. Jack just redeemed hydrate. That is not legal game. You're not legal game. Don't do that again. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, lady. I didn't even see what it was. I just shot it. Oh, that's right. You did vote 100. Or 25. Voted 100. I forgot you voted the, the 25 the other day on uh, Mass Effect. I did get your, your votes in, by the way. Did that at the beginning of the stream today. Mass Effect is up there. It's still it still has a while to go to be the top, but you don't have to be the top to win though, so there is a chance. Why won't you lock onto the small game? I mean I know the small game's not legal game either, but still. Weird, you think it would. What is top right now? Uh, Resident Evil 4, I'm pretty sure, is top. There's three different games that have over 200. The three at the top are... No, that's not what I meant to sort by. Sort by this. Okay. Uh, other way, then? There we go. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 has 228... Jack 2 has 215, and then Mass Effect is in third at 204. And then Pokemon Red is the only one to break 100. And then after that, we have a handful that are, like, over 50. Everything else has, like, under 50. Most games are sitting at either 0 or, you know, like, 1 to 15 or whatever. But... So it has a decent chance. There are a total of 1,316 votes. And those three games have... Or those four games... Would have 759. So chances are it's going to be one of those four, most likely. But uh, of course, again, it doesn't guarantee anything. With the way random numbers work, it could just as easily end up being, you know, uh, Stuntman with two votes, or Fable with four votes, or Stardew Valley with five, or Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Fights, Frights with one, or Persona 1 with one point, or whatever, you know? It's a possibility, it's just less likely, of course. Because numbers and things... What's Pets 2 at? That's a good question. I have no idea. Uh, JK. It's not very high. 61. So it's not... It's not like super low, but it's not super high either. To give it a good chance, it would like a 50-50 chance. What I say? We're at 1,300 votes. And of course, every time you add a vote, that increases the total number of votes. So to have a 50-50 chance of that game, it would need to get to, like, what, 900 or something. <laughs> like, so. 900, that'd add 450. That might be a little much. It would need to be, like, around 800, 750, something like that. To have a 50-50 chance of us playing Pets Dogs 2 after God of War. Right now, it has whatever 62 out of 1300 is. <laughs> I don't know that math off the top of my head, but... Oh. You, right there. Bro, why won't you lock on? Watch out. That what do you mean that's not legal game? This is what, your first warning. Was that an elk? I wish we could pick up the legal game. Oh, th of course there's a chance. If it had one vote, there would be a chance. It's just not a very likely thing to happen. But it can happen. Get him. Get him. 
Stop running from me, whatever you are. You haven't been given a tag for that animal. Don't tell me what I have and haven't done. Don't do that again. What is it though? Is it a fox? Collect it! Collect it quick! No, it's gone. Disappeared. Gone to the ether. Yeah, I'm done. Alright, well. Guys, this was something. Oh shit, there's something right there. Why? What are you? What are you aiming at? Bro, if that would have hit something, I would have been surprised as hell. Seriously, what are you aiming at, though? Are you just forcing me to aim away from this thing, whatever the hell it is? Stop forcing me to aim away. I want to shoot it. Oh, that's, that's bad. That was a neck shot. I mean, it did the trick, I guess, but... Oh, there we go. We got kicked out. I was wondering what was going to happen, man, if we did enough uh, the illegal hunting. All right. It's 247. It's late enough. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out. I had fun bullshitting with you guys, if nothing else. Um, We'll be back Friday, Saturday. Sunday? Sunday's Christmas, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, yeah. Again, Merry Christmas Eve Eve, guys. I uh, mentioned it earlier, but I don't think there's very many people here at the point. So, Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Um, yeah, because today's technically Saturday. Or no, it's Monday. Christmas is Monday. So, that's normally my day off. So, yeah, we'll probably do something Sunday night then. I do have to get up early on Christmas, sadly. I don't really get a day off for my one day off a week, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, but we'll probably still stream a little bit. Um, Sunday night. So, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for the 25 votes on Pets 2, love. Noodle519 uh... just redeemed vote on a game X25. Pets 2. I'll make sure to get those on right away. Wink. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Uh, thank you for coming out. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye. I'm just going to keep screwing it up. If I keep pressing that stupid button.